can the true nature be known before knowing the illusion so again let us invite some opinions what do people think what is your experience did you did you uh, come to know about your true nature before knowing that everything is illusion or you had to first you know somebody had to convince you that look everything is illusion only then you uh, came to know about your true nature what happened in your life bomra is saying no rajit is saying knowing the illusion is optional guru true nature cannot be known at all <laughs> what are you doing on this path then i am asking siddhant this path promises to give you the knowledge of self which is your true nature hmm? what are you doing here shilp is saying true nature is not known so what is known then raji is saying both true nature and illusion cannot be known it looks like i am wrong now many people are saying it cannot be known only ignorance which considers the illusion as true can be removed paramjit is saying needs to know the illusion prajita is saying when everything is removed then what remains is true nature shilp is saying illusion is known so looks like there is a little bit of controversy now <laughs> muni is saying knowing is an illusion so to know anything illusion is to be known when can be without it but not know it's a very good answer but uh, people don't consider self realization as knowledge what do they consider it what do what do they think self realization is not knowledge who am i can this not be known pandurang is saying knowing illusion is optional actually that is also my opinion but you see there can be more uh, opinions here so that is why um uh, in the 3d program we first start with the self realization who you are is told first which is simply the knowledge of self is simply a refutation of the blind beliefs about the self that i am born that i will die that uh, you know i have a shape and size these things are removed this is self realization so you know something is known here when people say no it cannot be known it cannot be experienced directly you see there is no direct experience of the self or the experiencer so this this can be achieved without going into the details of the illusion this can be achieved without bringing in the definition of true and false we simply assume that the world and the bodies are true but we can still remove them from the essence non essential then in the second step we can find out that the non essential is not constant it is changing forms and names created by the mind and so then we come to know it is an illusion paramjit is saying self realization is the true knowledge yes you see there will be opinions you know what is the last knowledge what is it that once it is known everything is known we do talk about self realization as if it is knowledge it is when people are saying that you know it cannot be known uh, that means that you know cannot be known through senses or in- intellect or in- things like that the self will never be known as an experience you cannot experience it you are the one who is ex- who experiences everything you are the experiencer if it can be experienced it is not you it is pure being this is the knowledge i am happy with this knowledge actually so there seems to be a little confusion about the word known known knowing and known so when the word known is used in the, in the for formal way organizations of the experiences in the memory that is the knowledge then yes the experiencer is never organized in the memory it is not to be found in the memory it is the witness of the memories so in this way there is no knowledge of it but self realization is an organization in the memory what is the what is the organization consists of not this not that negative knowledge and knowing this remembering this will be called awareness in our terminology the difference is very tiny you see very subtle try to grasp the subtleness of it you can easily call self realization as one kind of knowledge you know negative knowledge but uh, you cannot say that the experiencer is known directly there there needs to be a little bit of discrimination there it is very tiny so fortunately we had this question this came up many people have answered from their own perspective <laughs> which one do you take 
I think both answers are correct. But uh, you know, in in this question, we are asking about the process of taking knowledge and how to know the true nature. Whether this can be known before we can go on into the illusion. A simple common sense answer should be there. There are more opinions. Yashra is saying this can be known that the experiencer cannot be known. <laughs> that is what I call negative knowledge. It cannot be found in the world. It cannot be found in the body. It has no shape, no size. All negative, but still it is knowledge. You see, yes, the experiencer does not make a direct impression in the memory. This color, that sound, no, that kind of knowledge will never be found. Not an object. No objective knowledge. Very good. Now Rajit is saying the knowledge of the self reveals the illusion. The knowledge of its working is optional. Vipin is saying. The process of knowing illusion will bring surrender, which can strengthen the abiding in true nature. I don't know. This can be a big topic. That when the illusion is given first, what will happen to the seeker? And that that depends on their constitution, actually. And this is my experience in the field of teaching Advaita and the path of knowledge. And then it is sometimes harmful if people are told that your life is a lie. It is fake. Your body is fake. Your relations are garbage. Whatever you think about yourself and about others, totally cooked up stuff. Obviously, they will be depressed. They won't like it. They will hate their guru. There are some people like this, and they laugh at these people who call the world as illusion when they see the suffering and the issues in the society and their own condition is of suffering. So, they who cannot accept the suffering as an illusion, it is even considered unethical. Then one guru is sitting there and laughing at the suffering. Look, a play, a drama, a dream, and they then attack the guru by saying that look, <laughs> if you were starving, if you were getting killed, if you are getting abused, then you will come to know it is real. So to avoid this kind of disaster, we provide the self knowledge first. Once this base is made, then uh, you know telling that the experience is the illusion does not have any. bad effect on the mind at least this is my opinion that is how the program is designed you must have seen then we actually remove all doubts by saying that in the illusion the illusion works the truth won't won't work in the illusion in the illusion in the play only the script works you cannot show the camera in the movie you see like this say the illusion breaks <laughs> only the special effects explosions they work there nicely so play the play fully knowing that it is a play you yes, suffer the suffering and love your friends and kill your enemies is all fine now know what you are then this makes the non dual knowledge acceptable for an average seeker but there are some special seekers and for them perfectly okay that everything is a lie actually they laugh at it They they are released by this knowledge. They are liberated. Finally, I don't need to worry about anything. They say. Finally, I don't need to worry about death and disease and disability and all this, the major sufferings of a human being. I don't know who am I, but you know it's all fake, so no problem at all. Then they go ahead and explore the illusion. They are called tantrics. They love it actually. They become lovers of the devi. not bothering about who am i now it has some side effects but it's okay depends on how much impurity you have how much attachments you have to this illusion if there are too many impurities too many attachments then telling that everything is an illusion has a bad effect so we send them away go and do something yoga or something you see chant the mantras and sing the bhajan then come back after 20 years i tell them self knowledge very easy very easy no side effects at all except in few people so let's go forward how can a seeker experience oneness so who can tell me how to experience oneness yashra is saying there is no process if oneness can be experienced there is again experience appears to be experienced very good that is all you need to say there is one line explanation one line it is not an oneness is not an experience you see otherwise it would also come and go it can also change one people can have one person can have it other may not have it but oneness is the nature of the existence it is one 
you cannot have anything else except oneness and if it is experienced it will become two it will be divided into two and that is what is happening the existence is trying to know what i am uh, am i and in the process it ends up dividing itself because it cannot be seen as a whole still it can be known as a whole and you can be that you can be the one how to do that you are already it just remove your ignorance that i am not the one how to remove the ignorance path of knowledge